Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're doing okay. Gonna read through the full article here. I will let you know I'm a little bit slow in getting around to this one a few days late. This incident happened uh, last Sunday. I forgot to mention there is a link in the description. Um, so we'll see here in the article, in the headline rather, that a mother stabs a family pit bull to death after it attacked her one year old daughter leaving the girl with a fractured hip. Um, so I will let you know that the baby has undergone surgery. There she is, Ruby Cervantes. Cervantes? Cervantes? Apologies for pronunciation. And uh, the article tells us that Ruby sustained a broken hip and several lacerations to her shoulder and head in the attack, but underwent a successful operation and is expected to make a full recovery. So thankfully, she's going to be fine. She's going to make a full recovery. She has got undergone surgery. It's going to be a very big ordeal for a one-year-old baby girl. And of course, the family concerned. Uh, but thankfully, uh, she is okay. Or she's She will make a full recovery. So there's an absolute blessing there. A mother was forced to stab one of her grandmother's pit bulls to death as it mauled her one-year-old daughter on the floor of their Los Angeles home. Baby Ruby Cervantes was set upon by both of her grandmother's dogs in Pico Rivera on Sunday night. So that is last Sunday. The three-year-old hounds named Butch and Raider had never exhibited aggressive behaviour prior to the shocking incident and had been let inside for a bath when one of the one of the dogs suddenly went for ruby cervantes the one-year-old baby it was very scary i thought my daughter was going to die said the mother jamie morales i felt helpless me being helpless and me not knowing what to do the only thought in my mind was i had to kill him i had to well i'm glad she had that thought Triggered by the baby's screams, the other dog quickly snarled into a frenzy. Trigger warning. And began tearing at the infant's limbs. Several family members desperately tried to pry the dog's jaws off the infant to no avail. Leaving the mother with no choice but to grab a knife and violently stab the animals. She made the right choice. There they are. I'm going to interject from the article a little bit. Um, I'm not a dog hater by any means. I love dogs. I grew up with dogs. I love dogs. But as I've grown older and I've not had pets uh, as an adult, as I've grown older, I have grown more wary of dogs. Um, really because... He you don't know how they're going to behave. You know, if they're not your dogs, if you don't know of the dogs, if they're some stranger's dogs, you you don't know how they're going to behave. So even as an adult, I'm wary of dogs, normally of a certain size and of a certain breed. Um, and I know that just generally in the world, there can be a lot of alarmism about this, that or the other. And I would say that there is alarmism, whether justified or not, in regards to pit bulls in particular. I've read things stating that a lot of breeders, a lot of experts in the field, well, at least some experts in the field, do, do uh, are convinced, they do believe, that pit bulls are particularly aggressive. I've seen a little image of pit bulls that have, pitbull puppies that have been killed and eaten by others in the litter saw that on the internet could have been a doctored photo it could have been a doctored story or such but seemingly the pictures showed the heads of at least one the head of at least uh, one pitbull and apparently the rest of the dog had been eaten by other dogs within the same litter other pit bulls within the same litter have i just grossed you out i'm sorry i'm grossed out by these dogs i keep hearing really 
horrific attacks. There was another lady I made a video on, let's say about a month ago. I forget her name off the top of my head. But um, she's had to have, I believe, both her arms amputated after, I think it was two or three dogs. I can't remember if it was pit bulls or not. I think so. But I may be wrong. And she had to have both arms amputated. She asked her mother to hold her hand. The lady in question isn't able to have a prosthetic arm. She's not able to have a prosthetic arm because apparently there's not enough joint left or, you know, got that wrong some uh, to some extent, I'm quite sure. But, uh, you know, my point there is that there are a lot of attacks. I mean, I can see the beauty in these dogs. We can see beauty. We can see ugliness. But I can see beauty in these dogs. But I just know I'm aware of their violent tendencies. And these dogs are quite capable of murdering, killing killing humans not even just toddlers not even just babies adults they can kill adults they have jaws they have they have teeth they are able to grip on they are able to rip and shred through flesh they can tear off limbs and they can also tear off faces apologies for my grossness they can tear off throats one pit bull died at the scene from the stab wounds while the other was taken by Los Angeles County Animal Care to be put down. I'm going to read through this section here and it's going to provide details of the attack. So again, uh, again, thankfully the blessing is Ruby Cervantes, the one year old baby attacked by both of these pit bulls. Um... She is going to be fine, so she has undergone surgery. It is believed that she will make a full recovery, so there is that massive blessing. But we are going to read through some details concerning the incident. Ruby's grandmother, Marga Margaret Morales, said that she was woken up by the screaming and heard downstairs and hurried downstairs to find the pit bulls tearing at the baby. As her adult children attempted to pull them away. Here's a quote from the grandmother. I walked into the kitchen and that's when I saw my two daughters and my son on the floor trying to get the dogs off. I saw the dog was latched on her left leg. That's when I had to actually get my hand into his jaws and open them up. And that's when he released her. So well done. Well done the grandmother. Uh, well done, the other daughters and the son. Several members of the family sustained injuries as they tried in vain to stop the attack before Jamie, the mother, resorted to using the blade. I mean, she did what she had to do. She did the right thing, absolutely. The mother endured multiple facial injuries after one dog turned on her, savagely biting her cheek and lip. I've seen pictures of people, there's a girl, I think she may be 15 years of age. I've seen a lot of pictures of her in the on the internet and I think she sustained her injuries, I'm going to say within the last year. Her face was savaged. Her uh, her lips were ripped off her like a like around her eyes, like underneath the eyelid underneath the eye was ripped off her nose was ripped off or certainly a large portion of her nose parts of her cheek were ripped off i mean this this girl is extremely brave she's continuing to live her life she's posting social media pictures with horrific injuries um but you know i've got i've got to put it down to bravery she's chosen that she doesn't want to be a victim her whole life. She wants to carry on. She wants to... I don't know what exactly. It would be very interesting to know what this girl is thinking. And I should perhaps have prepared this better and show you a picture of her. But 
She looks terrible. My apologies. Perhaps I shouldn't have said that. Perhaps I'm an arsehole. But her injuries are absolutely horrific. This girl that I'm thinking of. Um, so I, I wonder what's going on in her mind. To allow her. To enable her to overcome. Uh, the, the injuries that she suffered. And just the whole anguish of. Being subject to such an awful attack. And um, yeah, there she is. Um, loud and proud, as it were, living her life. Good for her. She's great for her. Um, I've gone on a bit of a sidetrack there. Jamie's sister, uh, so the mother's sister, the baby's aunt, also suffered bite injuries. And the grandmother had to have several stitch stitches after one dog clamped down on her own hand. As she tried to force its jaws open and away from Ruby. Um, that That's pretty much the article there. Um, so what a brave family. Well done you guys. Well done all of you. Well done the grandmother. Uh, I mean I don't know how old the grandmother is. But she did well to release the baby's leg. The ba One of the dogs had clamped down on baby ruby uh Cervantes's legs legs one leg the grandmother saved her leg i've got no doubt the grandmother contributed to this the saving of ruby's life along with the mother with, who acted in a violent way but an absolutely necessary way she did the right thing she had to kill these savage dogs that were literally in the midst of killing her daughter so the mother absolutely did the right thing no questions at all from anyone i would imagine and the other siblings too it's good to hear that they all did what they could um and it would not have been easy and, and that's the problem that i have with these dogs i mean i grew up with a small dog and a uh, mid-sized dog um, and, you know, there'd be a little bit of biting here and there, but nothing you couldn't handle as a human. You know, you're not going to, you're not going to, you will be unlikely to suffer serious injury from the majority of the dog breeds out there, is my understanding. Um, but there are several dog breeds, pit bulls being the main, where that, um, can be extremely violent and if you know the this article here the family is saying hey look these were good dogs there was no never any problems with these dogs and seemingly they turned on a dime the both of them to kill to attempt to kill a one-year-old baby oh, it's terrible so anyway i've gone on a massive ramble there um, thank you for listening if you have stuck around um, take care guys I'm going to wrap things up if you do appreciate this please do like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit if you have any feedback for me good or bad positive or negative fire away no worries at all um, and uh, if you'd like to educate me on any of the subjects that I've raised please do please do educate me educate anyone else that might read the comments uh, maybe we're maybe I'm being unjust towards this breed if you think so tell me um, happy to consider your thoughts etc etc but uh, thankfully uh, the baby here Ruby is going to be okay there's the blessing so I'll wrap things up at this point take care of yourselves guys take care of your kids take care of your dogs should you have dogs should you have certain breeds of dogs which are considered dangerous or somewhat dangerous. Take a lot of care. Take a lot of care and perhaps don't get them again. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Thank you.